everybody, this is Josh with Block Roots, and on today's video, I want to talk about algorithmic stablecoins with dynamic supply. Yes, algorithmic stablecoins with dynamic supply. And nothing is financial advice, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you why am I talking about stablecoins, and that's specifically because there's opportunity when it comes to new protocols such as DSD and something else called ESD. Now, dynamic set dollar is the protocol that we're going to talk about today. And I do see a real opportunity here. I want to talk to you about how to play this opportunity, what I see, what is DSD, and uh, just kind of explain it because we're going to see a lot more assets like DSD. Well, why is that? That's because DSD is a fork of empty set dollar ESD, which has been really successful, but there were some issues with ESD, specifically with bots taking opportunities that other people couldn't have, and DSD has been forked to fix these issues, okay? It's a more fair asset when it comes to algorithmic stable coins with dynamic supply. So... I want to talk about this. I do see opportunities still with DSD. I want to go ahead and talk to you and explain what it is and just really educate you on it. Because again, um, if you're educated on anything, if anything you get out of this, I'm not telling you to go and buy DSD. I'm just trying to educate you on dynamic supply, stable coins. Specifically, if you want to trade DSD, great. If you watch this video, think it's you think it's awesome, you, you see opportunity there, take it. That's great. It's all on you. If you don't, that's totally fine too. But whatever you do, I want you to learn here and take this education and be able to hopefully be successful long-term down the road because the people who are earlier in these protocols are gonna be the most successful. And that's the whole point of this video, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about DSD. So if you look at this chart, it doesn't look attractive at all, right? So this is DSD, this is the 12-hour chart because it looks like it just pumped and dumped and it's dead, but that's not the case. That's because this is a stable coin that is trying to find equilibrium at $1. Now, naturally, if you're in the stable coin at the beginning, you get more of this um, opportunity here to hold this. And anyway, yes, like any asset, if you're there first, you have the most opportunity. The same thing with DSD. I wasn't there first. I wasn't there for almost two weeks after it launched, okay? So as far as that goes, just know that. But um, just looking at this, what you're seeing here over time is that the price is actually trying to find equilibrium at a dollar. Why is this important? Well, it's important because it's a stable coin. And the neat thing about this protocol is that it actually incentivizes people to sell over a dollar and to buy under a dollar. And you can actually take advantage of that in a profitable way. And so let's go ahead and talk about that. Let's go ahead and go to the website. And so that would be DSD, dynamic set dollar, DSD.finance. What you're going to do after that is you're going to go ahead and hit launch app. And that's going to go ahead and take you to the app with all the information, right? Lots of good information here that's probably confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. So in the end, like I said, uh, what DSD actually does is it incentivizes people to hold um, who, who hold DSD to sell over a dollar um, and also to buy it under a dollar. And I want to go ahead and explain that to you. Okay. So basically, what we have here, this is the application. Let's go ahead and talk about how it incentivizes people. Okay. And so what it does is that when price goes over one dollar for DSD the supply actually expands by a max of 10% every two hours. Now, every two hours in DSD, at least right now, is called an epoch. Epoch, epoch, whatever you want to call it. But that's basically every two hours with DSD, when it's over a dollar, it can expand up to 10%. Okay, so the supply expands. Where does it go? Well, where it goes is it goes to people who actually provide liquidity for DSD or who bond their DSD in the DAO. You can do all that here on the website by clicking wallet, okay? And so what you do is you can buy DSD and from there you can earn rewards. 60% of rewards go to bonding and the other 40% go to liquidity providers. And this actually is a big deal because you can make a lot of rewards by bonding to the DAO or providing liquidity. And just let me give you an example. If you were to have 1,000 DSD tokens and you were to bond them to the DAO, basically what we do is you would unlock the stage here. You would put your 1,000 DSD here, click bond, and it locks you up for three days 
where you earn rewards, as long as price is over a dollar. Now, if price is over a dollar, what happens every two hours is that you actually earn rewards. And like I said, the bond, the people who bond in the Dow earn up to 60% of the rewards from the expansion. And so what that means is again is that you just it's just like staking or yield farming. You just lock it up and you earn rewards. But the neat thing about bonding to the Dow is that the rewards compound. So for example, if you have 1000 DSD tokens and you were to bond them to the Dow, basically you could get up to say maybe 10% every 2 hours, 10% of what you have locked. Uh, for rewards. And that's what I did actually last week is I took 2,000 DSD and turned them into like 26,000 DSD in a matter of a couple of days, which is pretty cool. So the neat thing about that is if you have 1,000 DSD, every two hours it compounds. So if you earn 100 DSD in that epoch, the next epoch will actually take the 1,100 DSD and compound rewards from there. So basically they end up stacking on top of each other and it and it you actually earn quite a bit. So that's the bonus of bonding to the Dow. Now the only catch here again is that you can't unbond for three days. Okay. So you're locked or your awards are locked up. And after you're locked up, you can unbond. And the issue again is that it takes three more days after that to get your reward. So really from the time you start to the time you stop three days later, it takes three more days to do that. It takes six days total to get your reward. So it does take some time as far as that goes. Now, providing liquidity is different when it comes to DSD. Again, you can earn up to 40% of the rewards overall when it comes to providing liquidity. And the neat thing about this is that the, the lockup time for providing liquidity is not quite near as much. It's only one day or 12 epochs, 12 epochs, 12 times two hours each is 24 hours. Now, the thing about providing liquidity though, like every asset, if you provide liquidity, you have the you have to not only put in DSD, but you have to provide liquidity on Uniswap and you have to do it with USDC. Okay, so you're putting in not only DSD, if you have $1,000 worth of DSD, you gotta put $1,000 of USDC, then you provide liquidity here and then you actually earn rewards. Now, unlike the Dow, these don't compound. So again, if you have 1,000 um, DSD and you're earning a certain percent, you just earn that certain percent off 1,000. You don't earn that certain percent of rewards off of everything that you've earned as well, like the Dow, okay? Now, as I said, the only risk when it comes to providing liquidity is like any other asset, you can actually experience in permanent loss, which basically means the value of your tokens that you stake can actually be less by the time that you unstake. And so as long as your value is near the same when you stake, typically it's going to be near the same value when you unlock. So if you stake around $1 when DSC is near $1 and it goes up to $2 or $3 and it comes back down or it goes down to $0.80 cents and it comes back up, when you unstake, if it's back near a dollar, then you should be okay, relatively. So again, basically what, what is happening here is that everybody's earning a ton of rewards, which is really awesome. And so people keep buying in DSD, price keeps moving up, but eventually that peaks out, right? Eventually, you're going to see the peak out kind of like this right here. It peaked out up here around $9, and then the rewards got so much that people could unbond and unstake their LP, and they started selling off, okay? So they sell off the rewards. Now price goes under a dollar. Oh, no, what's going to happen now? Is it going to keep going down forever? And the answer is no, is because now you're actually incentivized to buy back DSD, and I'll tell you exactly why. Now, during this phase of the contraction or the quote the debt cycle, when price goes under a dollar, all the rewards stop. So you can no longer earn rewards for providing um, bonding to the Dow or providing liquidity. And the good thing too is even though it goes underneath the dollar, it's not like a rebase coin. You don't lose tokens in this protocol, right? If you have 10,000 tokens after it goes under a dollar, you have 10,000 tokens still. So you don't even have to worry about any crazy stuff like that. But now with it with the price under a dollar, the protocol actually incentivizes you to help bring the price back up to a dollar. Okay. And how does it do that? It does that in two ways. Well, specifically the, the way that it does it is by wanting you to burn your DSD tokens. That's right. Burning your DSD tokens 
so that, again, the supply goes down, so naturally price goes back up. And I'll tell you exactly why you would do that, because you're probably like, why would I burn tokens? That's just throwing money away. Well, with that said, there's actually a debt ratio, and basically based off the supply, there's a total debt of DSD that has to be burned, okay? And you burn that DSD, you're actually rewarded through something called coupons. Now, the cool thing about coupons is this, is that it gives you a premium right here of the coupon of how much more you get when you um, how much you more you get back later if you burn your DSD. So for instance, the premium right now is 45%, okay? If I were to burn 1000, if I were to trade my DSD or burn my DSD for coupons, if I were to burn 1000 DSD, I would get a 45% premium that premium on that. That means that I would not only get a thousand DSD back later when I redeem my coupon after price goes over a dollar, I would receive 45% more. That means I would receive 1,450 tokens for trading in my DSD, right? My 1,000 DSD for a coupon. Now, the, the better thing at that is what if I bought that DSD at 50 cents? Okay, so price went down, it hit 50 cents. I put in $500. I got 1,000 DSD. I then redeemed it for 45% beyond that. So for $500, initially, I'm getting 1,450 DSD back to redeem after price goes up over a dollar. And if I know that this is a dynamic supply stable coin and I know that the price target is a dollar and that it's likely to go back up over a dollar, that eventually I'll be able to turn that $500 to at least $1,450 by selling these over a dollar. And that, again, is what incentivizes people to burn their DSD, to collect the coupons over a dollar. You can then redeem your coupon. And then from there, you can decide whether you want to go back and provide liquidity and earn more or go back and bond to the Dow and compound for even more rewards. Now, this is an ongoing cycle. From there, what happens is that you earn rewards again. And then from there, price goes under a dollar. Then from there you unbond, you can decide whether you want to sell or not, but then you can or you can trade in and burn and get tokens. And then hopefully as people buy more and more tokens, people buy in more, people keep buying up so they can get tokens to earn this 45%. Now this is the max. Of course, over time, this premium can actually go down. So just know that as well. Now there's actually a lot more to this protocol than that, right? There are a lot of good videos that the team actually has made on YouTube that I can actually link below. I can also link below the Discord too, because it's really helpful. There's a lot of smart people in the Discord. Now when it comes to redeeming your coupons, just know this, you can't redeem your coupons until price gets back over a dollar. What makes this protocol better than ESD, it's um, the, the asset that it was forked off of, is that bots can't go and redeem coupons before everybody else. What happens is that when price goes up over a dollar, um, basically newer coupons are penalized for trying to redeem before older coupons. So if you see right here, this is a coupon list of an example where I redeem coupons in Epoch 187 all the way down to 225 how much I purchased, my total balance, right, of, of what I have, when they expire, and the redemption penalty. So this is the risk also when it comes to coupons. Coupons expire in 30 days. That means that if I paid for $20,000 worth of coupons right here, if price does not go back up over a dollar for DSD within 30 days, okay, I will lose that forever. The pro protocol wipes it out. That means I just lost $20,000. But again, since it's so early and a lot of people are buying into the protocol, buying into these coupons, there is a very, very, very good chance for the protocol to incentivize people enough to push this up over a dollar. So again, there is risk with this. You can lose your money forever if price doesn't go back up over a dollar. And that typically is what scares people. You may see a lot of people try to jump on and buy coupons near a dollar at the very end. But again, most people are rewarded if they're able to buy into coupons earlier. And again, they can redeem earlier than the later epoch people who redeem um, who buy coupons at later epochs. Okay. So in the end, there are some pretty cool stuff that the DSD uh, governance uh, has put together in order to help everybody be more fair. And that prevents bots from going and redeeming 
coupons before other people because if you try to do that you're actually penalized now when it comes to a dsd you can go to dsd.tools as well and they actually dynamic set dollar actually has a pretty cool website here that talks about how much the debt will increase over the next epoch um, it'll also talk about the rewards when it comes to the, the to the expansion phase how much rewards the bond as well as the lps get it talks about how many coupons have been bought it talks about the total tokens the market cap and a lot of good other good information about the the staged the bonded and the dow bonded as well too so i'll leave a lot of this information below in the video but the key to knowing about this is that in the end, this is a new type of stable coin that actually incentivizes users to buy and sell their tokens with this dynamic supply in order to create an equilibrium of a dollar. And there's real opportunity here. And again, you see a lot of people right now even who actually have been in ESD for a while who actually will buy and bond um, during the expansion phase in ESD even though the price doesn't go that high up. And then after it goes underneath, they'll buy coupons and then they'll go back and forth. And you can really, really compound your rewards over time when it comes to these premiums and when it comes to these compounding rewards. Um, this is why there's a real opportunity here. So be on the lookout for not only dynamic set dollar, be on the lookout for other dynamic, dynamic supply algorithmic stable coins as well that get forked later on because there are real opportunities here. And the important thing is, is that you know how to use them. And that's what this video is about today, is that you know about these dynamic supply coins, how they're not rebase coins, how they're stable coins, and how they incentivize users to buy and sell. And if you know that, if you get an edge on that and you get in early, you can actually have a real opportunity to do well long term on these assets and so with that said i'll leave all the information below if you have any questions on this i'm sure i didn't hit everything but again just an introduction to dynamic supply uh, when it comes to stable coins dynamic dollar and with that said you guys trade safe and effectively if you have any questions post them below we'll talk soon and have a great day